Do you want to create amazing animations like this right here in After Effects? Then this video will be the perfect one for you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is King Sam and I make motion graphics and graphic design related content right here on YouTube. And if there is something that interests you, please a sub to the channel will do me a whole world of good. And if you want to get in touch with me, the easiest way is by joining my WhatsApp community. The link is in the video description so you can join, add up and just say hi and connect with other people just like yourself. And now without taking too much time, let's jump right into the video. So I'm going to start from this site called Free Peak, and I'm just going to type in world map. And I'm just going to get a map of the continent that I actually like. Let's use this one, for example. So I can just download it. And this is going to be all we need. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to my file explorer here and I'm just going to drag this into After Effects. Yeah. And now let's create a new composition, 19, 20, 10, 80. Let's make this 30 frames per second and click on OK. Now let's create a new solid. Click OK and I'm coming to my effects and preset panel here. And I'm going to come here and search gradients. Now I'm going to put apply a gradient ramp. And I'm going to change this to radial. Now I'm going to move the center of my radial ramp here. And I'm just going to move the end point outward like this. Now I'm going to change the color of this to dark light blue sorry make it lighter so something like this and i'm going to change the inner gradient to a darker shade of me so let's see something like this cool so next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to go back to our um picture we downloaded from free pick here and i'm going to move to our composition Open up my scale property and I'm just going to scale it down a bunch. So let's scale it like this. Now make sure nothing selected down here. I'm going up to my shape tool here and I'm going to select an ellipse. Now I'm just going to draw my shape until it's almost the size of the picture right here. So something like this. Now for my uh, picture here, I'm going to my effects and preset tab and I'm just going to apply motion tile. And I'm going to apply it on it like this. And I'm just going to move this above this my layer right here. Now I'm going to select these two layers, my adjusted layer and this my picture layer right here. And I'm going to change it to all then track marks to our shape here so it only shows inside so this is what you get right here now on our adjustment layer here i'm going to my effect and preset tab and i'm just going to type in bulge and i'm just going to apply it on to my adjustment layer right here now this is our bulge uh this thing right here so i'm just going to move to the center here and I'm going to adjust the horizontal radius and the vertical radius so that it covers the entire uh, edge, whatever you may call this thing here. Let's say like this. Let me do a little bit. So like this. It's cool. Now you can increase your bulge height. You can also reduce the bulge height. So I'm just going to increase it something like this now next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to this my uh global rhythmating png here so my picture layer here and i'm going to make a keyframe on the tile center at the beginning of my timeline here and let's just zoom in let's shorten this down to like five seconds and let's come to around 20 frames here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this forward a bunch. And 
and what you can do is if you want to slow it down or you just do it, move this down to here okay now let's play it back okay as you can see there's a little bit of an issue the board is not actually in the middle of our composition so we're just going to adjust it so if you want to adjust the board you just come here and then you're going to move it until it's in the center and you can just drop the height a little bit more and for good measure let's just we'll increase this again so let's click on new and we can just take this down a bit again so now it looks like it's spinning that's cool the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to left click here and create a new null object i'm just going to move this to the top right here now I'm going to select these three layers here and I'm just going to parent them and I'm just going to link them to my null right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my scale property on my null and I'm just going to make a keyframe on my scale. I'm going to move it down to somewhere around 10 frames here and I'm going to make our scale at the beginning here zero. I'm going to come down to somewhere around here and I'm just going to increase this to 120. We're just going to select these are keyframes here. We're going to hit S9 to easy ease. Okay, now let's open up our graph editor here. And for our graph editor, I want it to start really fast. So I'm just going to bring it back here. And I want it to spend some time big. So I'm just going to move this back. Like this now I can just move this back a little bit let's move this here and move this somewhere like here let's see it again yeah that's looking better okay that's looking cool what I'm going to do I'm just going to select all these layers here I'm going to left click and I'm going to pre-compose them and I'm going to move all attributes to new composition now I'm going to come down to three uh, seconds right here I'm going to open my position keyframe and I'm going to make a keyframe on the position. I'm going to come down to somewhere like here and I'm just going to drag this back a little bit, just like this. So now I can just select this tool. I'm going to hit F9 to easy ease. I'm going to open up my graph editor and I'm just going to change the graph to something like this. Now, we have this smooth looking animation right here. Now, at this point where our animation finishes here, I'm just going to add a little text. Let's just think of something, uh, the world awaits or something like that. Okay. And let's move it like this. I'm going to change the color to white. And what I'm going to do is at this moment in time here, I'm just going to move it back, open up our opacity keyframes by clicking T, and right here, I'm just going to make a keyframe on my opacity, come back to the beginning of where this my water wheels layer here starts, and I'm just going to change it to zero. So, okay, now let's play it back. Okay, first of all, I don't like the, the motion is too fast, so I think I can just move this back like this. Cool. And I think I can extend this one out a little bit. Okay, so let's bring this forward and bring this forward also, and let's move this back. And there you have it. So thank you guys for watching that video. If this video has helped you anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below anything that you don't understand in this video, and I'll be sure to get to you. And now that you have learned how to make this animation, you can take a crack at learning how to make this one right here, or you can also take a crack at learning how to make this one right here. And I'll catch you in that video. So from now until the video, you just click on remember, improve every day, grow constantly, and dream endlessly. I love you guys.